Good Friday morning, 2 a.m. Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. This is your outlook for October 11th, 2013. And starting off with the interactive radar, this is uh, this is actually this evening here, and we had uh, some some deformation uh, banding setting up here over uh, over this Appalachians here. Uh, earlier in the day, we had some orographic lift that was providing uh, much of Eastern PA here in the uh, showers. And uh, keeping uh, New Jersey dry, and the reason for that, we had high pressure sitting up here in the Gulf of Maine. It's not on this picture here, but that high pressure was actually working some dry air in the mid-levels and keeping New Jersey a lot drier than was anticipated. So New Jersey dodged a bullet out of this one, or at least uh, from central New Jersey northward. Uh, most of the heavy rain actually uh, fell from uh, the Lancaster and York area up here to Harrisburg and, uh, you know, up into central PA here where the deformation banding set up here. Uh, this is something that's uh, where the deformation banding occurred here. This is something that is uh, not able to be forecast any more than one or two hours in advance. It's just a very tricky situation. You never know where that's going to set up here. Uh, and it's basically uh, winds at the surface are in one direct, uh, direction and uh, the upper levels are in a different direction so that uh, creates an added lift here and that's why you get this uh, yeah, that's why you get the deformation banding, and that's why we saw this this evening here. Uh, we're going to go over to the NAM high res, and I'll go into the future here. Now we're start off, starting off with uh, our current timestamp here, and it's showing that uh, precipitation matching up the current radar here. And then as we go forward in time here, this is going to shift uh, to the west and then kind of fall apart, uh, falling away from the source of the uh, uh, the, the source of the precipitation in the first place. So. Uh, then we're going into, uh, this is out tomorrow morning at uh, 9 a.m., and you still got the, the precipitation out here a little bit further west. This is West State College now, uh, but the eastern areas are, are, uh, are just uh, cloudy, maybe a little bit of drizzle hanging around. Uh, then we have this batch, another batch that's going to come rotating through here around this low pressure system, and that's going to come through South Jersey and kind of head right up here to the same areas again. Uh, but the only difference between yesterday and today, we think, is whatever the cutoff line we had yesterday is going to be a little bit further south this time. And uh, you'll see that here. You see, you see the uh, slug of moisture here around noon uh, over uh, northern Delaware and uh, extreme southeastern PA and south, uh, southern New Jersey. And that continues filtering westward. But you see what the theme is here. Uh, everything seems to be staying on a line south of here like this. So uh, this is the Lehigh Valley right here. So, uh, you know, you're getting these light grays here. This is probably just a drizzle, a spotty, a spotty shower or two. But the concentration of anything steady is once again going to be to the southern areas here. But a little bit further south of, on an axis from where it was today. Uh, and then when we think if we get past this point here, uh, this is Friday evening, it starts to uh, dissipate pretty much everywhere here. And these little grays you're seeing on the map here just are just clouds and, and uh, drizzle. So uh, that's what we expect to hang, out on, hang around on Saturday, at least for the early parts of Saturday. Uh, especially in the valley areas, you could have some, or expecting to hang on to the clouds all day Saturday, and, and because of that, you could have some spotty drizzle. Uh, but we're not looking at any, any precipitation. This is all day Saturday to show you here, and it's absolutely clear. Uh, well, clear as far as not uh, having any uh, organized uh, showers come through. It's mostly just going to be a cloudy day and maybe a spotty, uh, some, some spotty drizzle hanging around here. Going to the wider view here, this is the GFS. Again, here starting off with the slug of precipitation. Here's our low pressure uh, sitting here and off the off the Carolina coastline. And uh, here's the initial wave. Here's the second wave right here. And this second wave is going to come uh, early morning, going to come across New Jersey, and then it's going to head out here like this. But it's not going to get very far, and that's because of the high pressure that's sitting up here. This high pressure is not allowing it to get any further. And uh, what this high pressure is going to do over the next couple days, and I'll show you this here, is actually going to sink down to the southwest. And by because this is sinking down to the southwest, it's stronger than this system here. It's going to force this to the south. And when it forces to the south, we can finally clear out. Okay, so that's what we're looking at for the next couple of days here. Uh, here's that low pressure system and keeping everything on Saturday. Here's Saturday on the GFS, uh, and you see it's keeping everything south here. Uh, but that's just organized precipitation and accumulating precipitation doesn't mean you can't get any uh, some, some drizzle with those clouds here over this area here on Saturday. And then we go uh, forward in time. Here's that high pressure we're talking about up here. Now it's on the Gulf of Maine, and our system is now being, since this is moving down to the southwest, you can see that here, it's moving down to the southwest, it's forcing this system further south. And I think that's why you're going to have uh, some peaks of sun on Sunday, and then on Monday you'll have even more sun than uh, you had on Sunday and probably uh, even more so on Tuesday. 
Uh, and then we're going to have a cold front that's going to come through here on Wednesday, probably Wednesday evening or early Thursday uh, towards the end of the week. But we'll get into that uh, as we get closer. I'm Eastern PA with a 30 meteorologist, Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for October 11th, 2013. Have a great Friday.